The CCXP, the Brazilian Comic-Con, for, for lack of a better term, has been growing leaps and bounds every year. I actually really wanted to go this year, and I totally forgot that it was coming up. Otherwise, I think I might have gone down to Brazil for this thing. But <laughs> all weekend, huge things have been coming out. <laughs> and we're going to talk about the Godzilla Kong one in just a second, but a lot of series decided to drop the first look at their either first season or new seasons coming out. High-profile stuff like The Boys, Halo, Fallout, House of the Dragon. Mm -hmm. All these shows put out new trailers, some of them their first trailers, and I got to tell you right now, I loved every single one of them. <laughs> <laughs> the House of the Dragon one? Ooh, wow. Triple D, baby. There is nothing so hateful to the gods than a war monk's kin. A son for a son. Urgh! Yeah! Uh, the boys. Democracy fails because people are fucking idiots. It's like that's such a boys and yet a truism to say, fall out. I have lived a comfortable life. You know, and all even, you know what? I don't care. I know there's a lot of hate out there for the Halo series. <laughs> I know that. I'm not a huge Halo guy. I didn't love the first season. I liked it. I did. And I thought this trailer, every Marine who stands with me now is going to die. But every moment that we hold off the enemy means more people escape and survive. I'm like, grr! Yeah! <laughs> grr. I, man, I, I loved every single one of these trailers. You know, two of these trailers, I've never seen, I've never played Fallout. I haven't seen that episode of The Boys. And I'm so interested in these two shows that it shows you how good these trailers was. But House of the Dragon Woo! has to be the top. Well, Triple no, 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 we're, we're not ranking them yet. We're, we're, we're going to rank them. Yeah, we ain't ranking right. nothing. Okay, we're, okay. We're, we haven't gotten to that part yet. This is just slow your roll. Reel it in. I know the excitement is tangible. My prince. <laughs> my prince, my king. <laughs> yeah, Matt Smith in there swinging yeah. swords. Um, so let's let's then do that. Let's take a look and, and say, I, first of all, I think, am I, am, am I good in saying that we really, really liked all these trailers? Yes. I think yes. so. Shocked. I, I, I don't think there is a weak link in that chain. I thought they all look... I mean, the shows may turn out bad. I mean, Halo Season 2 might be bad, whatever. But the trailer, I thought, was really great. All right. Here's how I'm going to rank these four myself. Uh, at the bottom, even though I just said how much grr it gave yeah. me, I'll, I'll put the Halo one. Same with me. Down the, again, I thought it was great. I just think the other ones were great tur. But it's still, I loved what I saw... I like the close-up grim face of Master Chief. Yes, I don't mind that we see his face. Well, you're not a fan of <laughs> Go cry in a corner somewhere. I'm sick of hearing you're crying. <laughs> but, like, that whole, again, that whole speech about, hey, if you come with me, you, we're going to die. We're just, you know, we're going to die. There's, there's no hope. We're going to die. But every moment that we delay the enemy, more people survive. I'm like, oh, God, this is good. Okay, so I love it. So I'm going to put that at the bottom. I'm going to put it at the bottom. Uh, next one up is Fallout. I'm like you, Ray. I've never played the game. So I have no expectations. The job of a trailer is to take your expectations wherever they are and bump it up. And I am legit excited to see this show, man. This trailer sold me on it. I mean, we saw some images that I thought looked really good last week, but I thought the trailer killed it. I, I know nothing about this world, well, a little bit, but not a lot. And I am I cannot wait. When to say it starts? February? Uh, I thought it was April. Let me look Maybe April. Up. I don't know. Whenever it is. It can't get here soon. It can't get here soon enough. Whatever date it was, I can't get here soon enough. In the number two spot. Yeah, April. April. In the number two spot is one of my absolute favorite shows on television, the trailer for the next season of The Boys. Oh, my God. This is it. They are taking everything that they have been building in this series, not just on the individual characters level, but where their society in The Boys has been evolving when it comes to soups and the breakdowns and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of political messaging in the boys. There always has been. Yes, I understand that. But this whole thing with Homelander now, ultimately, he's hatching his plan. Really what his big goal, what his, if you'll pardon the, the use of the phrase, his end game 
it's starting to come out. We got new soups coming out, which, you know, the uh, the creator of the show said, oh, yeah, these two new soups. Oh, my God, you're going to hate them so much, but you're going to love them. Um, which what is, is he trying to do? What is Homelander trying to do for someone? Oh, he's, basically, he's going to take over the world. He's, he's going to take the president. He's, he's planning on taking the presidency. Oh, okay. Right? But at, at any rate, and having watched Gen V mm, just builds up my anticipation for this a lot. I thought the trailer looked awesome. Cannot wait for it. Guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Quip. Good health starts with good habits, and Quip makes forming good dental habits easy by delivering all of the oral care essentials that you need to care for your mouth. I've already told you guys about their incredible toothbrush that is now my favorite toothbrush I've ever owned, and their mints and gum are amazing. But now I want to tell you about their water flosser. It hits all the right spots with gentle or deep cleaning pressure at the touch of a button. And don't worry about recharging. The cordless rechargeable battery lasts up to eight weeks with daily use, no bulky charger, or dock or tangled cords. It blasts away up to 99.9% .9 of plaque and popcorn from treated areas with precision thanks to the 360 degree rotating magnetic floss tip that snaps right into place. It's easy to control water flow that leaves you feeling squeaky clean. And the sleek and slim design, it keeps your countertops as clean as your teeth. So guys, if you go to getquip.com slash campia right now, you'll get 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, and water flosser. That's 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, water flosser at getquip.com slash campia. Spelt G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash campia. Quip, the good habits company. But I think the best trailer we saw was House of the Dragon. <laughs> Again, I mean, that lash, first of all, that whole line about nothing's more hateful to gods and war among kings and no war is more bloody than a war of dragons. And then to end the trailer, first of all, that that is a the phrase my wife likes to use. That is a boss bitch right there. She, the woman who was supposed to be queen, that she has become one of my favorite characters in all of television. The end of her arc in season one, when she like <laughs> fucking comes into the throne room riding a dragon, make everybody shit their pants. Oh, she's a boss. Anyway, awesome dragon baby, oh, triple D. That <laughs> yeah, what is that triple D? It's dragons, drama, and dick. Yeah, and don't forget feet <laughs> and feet and feet. Triple D. Then you diners, drive-ins, and dives. Yeah, oh, Max. That's what it is, right? Game of Thrones. Dragons, drama, and dick. Either one. Either one. It'll... Never mind. You know, okay. It, it's okay. But I do want to throw this too. That last shot of the. Big ass dragon flying over everybody. That everybody looked up. It's like, oh my god! In a world where they're kind of used to seeing dragons, but they see this one, and they're like, oh shit! <laughs> um, <laughs> I cannot wait. I'm so happy they were able during the actor strike to continue shooting the show and finish it. The production's all done. Um, I cannot wait for this. So I, again, mine at the bottom. Again, I loved all the trailers. At the bottom is Halo for me. Next up is uh, Fallout. Next up is The Boys. And at the top, I'm going to put House of the Dragon. Rob, how would you? what do you think about all the trailers, and how would you rank them out of the ones we saw? Uh, I'm with your ranking, but I would say this. I, I uh, Halo, yes, was at the bottom, but Fallout really surprised me. So good. And, and it's Jonathan Nolan. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I have never played the game either, but I went and read up on the game after seeing the trailer. So I know kind of what it's about. And it looks the tone of it, the design of it. I was like, wow, that was it was not really on my radar, but now it is. And if we're going to get a Last of Us quality level adaptation out of the Fallout series, bring it on. But I'll say House of the Dragon, because that's the thing I wanted to see most is number one. Same is true of the boys is number at number two. But I've got to put. Um, I'm not including. Are we including Kong in this? We're just talking TV, no, 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 right? No, 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 because because these are TV series versus yeah. uh, the movie yeah. trailer. So, yeah. so I'm going House of the Dragon because that's the thing I'm most interested in. The Boys because that's the second thing I'm most interested in. But Fallout is definitely at three, but only because I'm already anticipating House of the Dragon and The Boys because I know what I'm getting and I love those shows. But Fallout. I got to give it up because yep. I was not that interested until I saw that trailer. Then I'm like, sign me up. Yeah. Bring it on. Of course. And I'm glad you brought it up. Cause I should have mentioned that Jonathan Nolan, of course, is his involvement in this. Yeah. And Ray, 
You you uh, got very excited about these shirts. How would you rank them? It's just Halo, then the boys. Only because I haven't seen. Oh uh, wait, the boys. starting at the top um, or the bottom? Yeah, yeah, the bottom. Okay. Halo, the boys, and I keep going back and forth with House of the Dragon and Fallout, just because Fallout I know nothing about, but I am so interested in what is going on. Just the armor, the looks of the armor. It's just it looks like my thing right there. I'm surprised I've never played any of the games. Is but. this not the actor from Lost? Yes. I, at least I believe it is. Yeah. And and the guy from Severance is in there. The guy that was holding the buttons. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 What was his name? Yeah, but he was holding. But I, it was good to see him in there. If this is a sign, uh, let's say if it's good, it, it, then we could expect some good things for God of War, the series coming out on Amazon. Well, hopefully. Too. I, like, hopefully, what I, hopefully. What I've learned, what I've learned, because I used to think that way, but what I've learned is one thing being good or bad does not necessarily mean another <laughs> thing is going to be good or bad. And we, and we remember Rings of Power, right? Yeah, <laughs> and we remember uh, Rings of Power. A show that I still didn't think was bad, it just didn't live up anywhere near my expectations. Yeah, well, Jonathan, how would you rank yeah. oh, the, 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 those favorite. four trailers? Yeah, so again, Halo's at the bottom. Uh, then it's The Boys. Then it's Fallout, which you would think Fallout, actually, I, I'm probably the most hyped for because, man, this is game accurate. And the tone of the game is in this I, I didn't get grab it that that shot with dog meat that's the german shepherd holding the hand <laughs> the mouth. Oh, cute. It, it's just it's, what a, it's good boy. a great tone but i've invested so many years into game of thrones and house of the dragon now that that is my top so it's house of the dragon fallout uh the boys halo Okay, mm. so all of us have house of the dragon at the top and all of us have halo at the bottom yeah. just uh switch back and forth with the boys yeah. and fallout guys which one is your favorite? Which one? Look, are there any of them that you didn't like? I gotta say straight up, I I liked a lot, all of them. I, I thought all of them were great. Uh, got my preferences. How did you guys see it? Jump on into the comments section and let us know. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.